How's it going, YouTube? Dufanatic95, back with uh, another video. And it, this today is a follow-up to uh, my last topic about the new Community Forge free-for-all list. Um, I've got a regicide game here, and I just I didn't have another game ready to go for my free-for-all. So I just picked this one. Uh, it was the next best thing. Um, I've been playing. I've had some good matches. I've had some bad matches. And I have some insight as to the problems now that have surfaced in this playlist. Um, infinity settings do not work. Well, let me rephrase that. They can, but the way they are configured will not work. And that is because there is so much map-based weapon spawns, which is a good thing, trust me. But if you add in uh, spawns in your ordnance where you can get rocket launchers and binary rifles, it suddenly becomes overpowered and a little hectic. Let me say that again. A lot hectic. It just doesn't work. I don't believe that these games should be ordnance based. Even Regicide was not ordnance based. The only perks you could gain were as king, and that would be an overshield and a damage boost. So, with so many great maps on the playlist, with good weapon spawns, why do we feel like we need infinity settings? The answer, quite simply, is we don't. A lot of the maps are claustrophobic, in a sense, to begin with. Where you will spawn, sometimes, in the middle of somebody else's battle. So, if that's the case, and they have, say a sniper rifle and a rocket launcher and they're going at each other, you're caught in the middle. What are the chances of your survival? Now, that may not happen every time, but chances are more likely. I mean, it would be with less weapons more frequently, such as sticky detonators and shotguns. But the point is, infinity settings are not necessary. I know 343 is dedicated to those infinity settings, but they just do not work. And another thing that Regicide got right, and I, look, Regicide is not a true free-for-all playlist. Let's get that straight. But it did get right in the fact that you only need six players. And this could have added to the infinity problems to begin with, is that there's too many players on the map. Six is enough. We do not need eight. It's just too much. I'm not sure how many players were in the Halo's past free-for-all, but with everyone having sprint now, there is just no need uh, for eight players. Most games will finish off in three to four minutes, depending on how skilled the uh, players actually are. And the longer matches will run 9 and 10 minutes for, uh, or not necessarily always, but if the players are less skilled. So, how do we reconcile the infinity settings and what we have uh, with the Rumble Pro settings? Well, there's two options, really, in, in my eyes. You either make an infinity setting for these maps and just have that be its own playlist and you have a pro playlist where you have DMR, Covenant Carbine, the BR, and the Light Rifle and just have that in its own playlist. To me, that could work. Or, option B is we just remove infinity altogether. I'm not saying loadouts couldn't work, because that could possibly work, but we don't need ordnance. So, overall, I had to revisit some of the maps. I have not actually played them all, but uh, I've played Opus, I've played Assault, I've played Edifice, King still leading. and might have been it. There might, there might have been another one or two. Perhaps Bloodthirst. But, uh, 
assault and edifice. You know, and black sight, that's the other one. Black sight, assault and edifice are the ones that I prefer. I know there's a couple that I'm missing. Those maps, uh, for the most part, their spawns work. I think Assault has a couple problems where you come into an immediate disadvantage, but it's not as evident as in some of the other maps. So, if 343 decides to add existing maps like Abandon, as you see here, Haven, into a free-for-all list, it has the potential to work. Because uh, these maps seem to have an okay spawn system. But then again, what you see here is with six players on. Which, again, needs to occur. So, all in all, uh, still enjoying the playlist, but it desperately needs improvements. Um, I know you can't always balance out everything because it's just going to be everything's going to be advantageous for something for a, any person in a particular position uh, despite your best efforts but obviously if they made these improvements uh, they can actually get a better playlist going in my eyes so if I had any advice to give you if they were only going to keep what they have now as the free-for-all. I would say you have to go into it with this mindset of you're not going to rush around the map the whole time and you must have the mindset that your opponent is going to make a mistake. You have to have that uber sense of confidence in your ability to do well because again it's not about it's so much about how many kills you get as it is about how fast you get the 25 kills. So therefore, you have to play it smart, and everything should work out for you. And myself, I'm learning. I'm still trying to get better at this. And it's a process I am going to continue, even if we don't get these updates that I have suggested here for the playlist. So, either way, I still... Uh, stand by my original statement. This is a step in the right direction for 343, but it would be an even better step in the right direction if we made these updates. We fixed these problems. And hopefully, if, as a responsible company, they will listen to us. So let Bravo need or do what he needs to do, and we should be fine. Uh, I think that's all I've got to discuss today, so enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and just leave your own opinions. Say what you need, or what you think needs fixed. I'm Doofenak Knife Five. I will see you later.